Nola Jet here in Nashville, Tennessee at Apple Andy's Inn. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for where to stay in Nashville, Tennessee, travel with me on our Nashville Hotel Review videos to help you decide. In this episode, we were looking for places to stay in Nashville near the Germantown area of Nashville, Tennessee, and research led us to the Apple Annie's Inn. We will do a full Apple Annie's Inn review in this Nashville travel video. We are in town to have some Oktoberfest fun at the Nashville Oktoberfest, which is located in the Germantown area. Apple Annie's Inn is located in Nashville, Tennessee at 1333 Dickerson Pike, which is about 8 hours and 533 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Like much of Nashville, there's a lot of construction going on all around this little Appalachian Zen location. So I don't think this place will be here much longer as everything seems to be developing into bigger apartment and condo complexes all around Nashville these days. They didn't have the inside of the front desk check-in area open. You had to use that little window on the right, I quickly learned. So let's go check out our room now and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have a uh, wall unit for a little air conditioning and heat. Nice king side bed. We've got a uh, telephone over here. We have a nice little television right here. Hmm. Stuff in there. There's a microwave and uh, refrigerator. I don't know if there's any stuff in there. Got our towels in here. Got a little uh, closet area, but not much space with all that. And then a huge restroom. Now, uh, hmm, looks like they've done some renovation in here. So looking a little closer, they definitely needed to probably have better contractors doing the work in here. They definitely had a lot of stuff that looks like it was thrown together really fast and not the best work overall. A little bit roughly, but they've done it. It's a huge, nice shower. Huh. Looks like they've done some work to the shower here. That looks like, uh, huh. We have these legs here that they don't seem to uh, work very well. So kind of iffy lights. The shower floor wasn't that clean and then there were lots of drain flies all throughout this bathroom I found later. I killed a lot of them. Sink looks nice. Nice mirror. Um, I don't see any soap or uh, other products at all. Okay, so. There was some kind of handprint or other stain right here at the bathroom entrance. Huh. There we go. And then a little table over here to uh, maybe get some work done. We'll see. The bed was overall decently comfortable. The pillows were a little on the small side though. Well, let's see. Some nice cushy sheets in here. Huh. Very thick mattress. The total for two nights staying here was $189.40, which I think was a little more expensive than it should have been for the quality of place as it was. As I found some way nicer Airbnbs for around the same price, but they were already booked for the nights I needed to stay in Nashville, unfortunately. This certainly wasn't my first choice for a place to stay, and I booked my trip last minute, so this was all I could find available near the Germantown area. So overall, this wasn't the worst place that I've ever stayed at, uh, but the flies in the bathroom certainly weren't encouraging, and some of that less than good workmanship could have certainly used a little more attention. 
But overall, the uh, stay was decent. Uh, just, I don't think this place will be around much longer with all the construction going on. So it's definitely getting harder and harder to find places to stay in Nashville, unfortunately. So thanks so much to everybody at Apple Annie's Inn for a decent stay. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Hunt channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that might enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.